Hello YouTube, today we'll be making this metal scratched kind of te text right here. Alright, so first you want to open Cinema 4D. You want to go to your render settings. You want to have general full render output 720, I mean 1280 by 720. You want to go to save, save it to where you want to save it. Do it as a PNG file. And you go down to effect, select ambient. Wait, no. Go to effect and select oh, ambient inclusion. Then you're going to select global illumination. Go into radiance catch and put these both on the low. Alright, let's get started. So, first you want to add your Motex. And you want to uh, type in wherever you want to type in. In my case, I'm going to type in tutorial. And you want to put the font as what I use is space bow or something like that. And yeah, like so. Change the depth up a little bit. Go to caps, fillet cap, fillet cap. And there you go. There's white. No, I'm gonna add a light as well. Just so when you render it out, you can see it properly. All right. And then you wanna, um, uh, you want to add your go into wherever you save your metal texture. I'm gonna give you in my description. And drag this out there like that. You want to drag this onto your text, like so. Render it out, and you'll see that it's only on that layer. So to change that, we're going to go, we're going to select the material, go to tag, go to flat, and then capital C1, right there. Alright, so now you can see, already see how it's on the front. And now it's not on the back, so to change that, you want to go here, hold control, drag it out, to create a new one, drag this back onto your Motex, swap these. Now let's render that out. See, now it's on both of them. So it's kind of looking a little bit bland. So, what you want to do is you want to new material. Wait, no. Yeah, new material. Um, go specular. Drag that up. Drag it up. Go to reflection. Drag it down. Luminance, drag it down, drag it down, drag it up. All right. Um, and then you wanna put this on there. You wanna now you wanna put that in the back, and then put this on flat. Wait, no, not flat. Um, this to R one. And I want to render it out kind of gives it a little glow you can tad down the glow a little bit yeah because that's by far way too much it's kind of more of a dingy metal so you kind of want to tad it down a little bit and yeah it still kind of looks a little weird but you know it's just for tutorial sake so then you add your plane you get a width height blah you get a file shader new key like so you drag it in there now you go to your light go to shadow make sure it's on shadow maps now when you render it out it should look like this looking pretty sexy all right you can tell what it's gonna look like all right one more thing you go to when you're selecting I mean when you're on this one, the back layer, you want to go to the projection. You want to go to cubic. And now, let's look. Take a look at it. Oh, there you go. I gotta move the text up, but there you go. It's a basic metal type look. Um, thanks for watching. 
Subscribe if you want to see some more tutorials. I already have two other ones up. Request tutorials as this was requested. And have a nice day.